So I'm hoping you can hear me properly because I've got the damn washing machine um, running in the background and it's like my second ever time in my life operating a washing machine. So yippee for me, the boy has become a man and I to use a washing machine. But anyway, a lot of people think that Boris Johnson's an idiot, yeah? And only broke people at this moment in time will think that Boris Johnson's an idiot, yeah? But let's just break it down, right? Boris Johnson is, you know, he's the Prime Minister now of uh, the UK. And listen, I don't even watch TV. I do not watch politics. I don't follow politics. I don't follow the news, yeah? I only found out about two weeks ago that Boris Johnson is the Prime Minister of the UK. I didn't even know that, yeah? That's how bad I am with watching TV. I don't watch TV. I don't follow politics, innit? But obviously, he's conservative. And let's face it, yeah? Most broke people are not... Um, do not follow the Conservative Party. Most broke people follow the Labour Party, and that's who they would vote for, isn't it? Yeah. So most broke people don't like Boris Johnson because he's, um, you know, he's conservative. And most broke people do not own their own property. Most broke people live in council houses. So how does this make sense? And I like, what, what, what are you trying to get at? Well, if you own your own property, yeah, and you are looking to buy another property. You will not think that Boris Johnson's an idiot. Do you know why? Because allegedly Boris Johnson is trying to abolish or at least make cuts to this stamp duty bullshit. Yeah. And yeah, maybe I've made a few jokes about Boris Johnson back in the day, but I will take it back. I hope to God that Boris Johnson, you know, hopefully abolishes this stamp duty bullshit or at least makes cut makes cuts to it because I don't know what the threshold is because they always flipping change it or whatever in it yet. But I know that I will be taxed heavily. So obviously I got this house up in Northampton and I got this one in Egypt. But I'm I've got enough money, almost enough money for a deposit. It depends, obviously, you know, if I wanted to get a one bed flat, yeah. But I want to get a two or three bed house in Harlow, so that's what I'm trying to go to next. And if I buy a house for two hundred and fifty grand, yeah, I would have to put down a twenty five grand um, deposit. That's cool. But I would have to pay ten thousand pounds in stamp duty, ten grand in stamp duty. Listen, I'm voting for Team Boris. Yeah, I hope Boris abolishes this flipping stamp duty. Imagine having to save up, yeah, ten grand just to pay a tax. Yeah, you don't ever see that money. Yeah, that money goes into the government. They do whatever they want, but. You do not see that money, yeah? It's not like you've bought a car for 10 grand, even if it's going to um, depreciate, yeah? At least you can physically use it or something like that, yeah? It's just as bad as insurance. You never really physically use the insurance unless you get into an accident or whatever, innit? But imagine having to pay or save up £10,000 and say, here, government, here, 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 take my money for free. No, 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 no. So... I've made jokes about Boris Johnson in the past, yeah? Then it say nothing bad about him, really, but I will never say anything bad about him again, or I won't even think it. Boris Johnson is not an idiot. He is the most intelligent person in the UK, yeah? Because I hope to God I don't have to pay £10,000 um, in stamp duty. So I hope that Boris Johnson abolishes this stamp duty, because I just think it's a rip-off. Why, why are you taxing the people? Why do you have to tax people who either buy their first property or buying their second or whatever, in any amount of property? I don't care if you've got 100 properties. You shouldn't be getting taxed um, paying stamp duty. But yeah, I hope he abolishes this flipping um, this stamp duty nonsense, isn't it? And as I said before, only the broke people, only the people who, you know, buying properties don't concern them like broke people, yeah, won't, won't care about this stamp duty thing being abolished because... You know, they, they, they're not in that realm. So, you know, it's of no concern to them. So, yeah, as I said, I hope Boris Johnson abolishes this, uh, I was about to say slavery, <laughs> abolishes this stamp duty because it's a rip-off. It's flipping, it's, it's a piss-take, isn't it? So, stay worse.